Hi everyone, welcome back to Equipoise Classes. I am Surbhi Gupta and in these videos, we read economics topic from Tamil Nadu board book. And as I always say in the beginning of every video that uh, the book doesn't matter, the concepts really does. And I find this book very good if you need to understand and start with your journey in economics world. So today we are doing expenditure method. Yesterday we completed income method and let's start from where we stopped yesterday. So <clears throat> uh, expenditure method is also known as outlay method. And under this method, the total expenditure incurred by the society in a particular year is added together so you know there are different sectors let's say there's household sector there's firm sector then uh, there's government sector then there's external sector whatever expense expenditure they are doing like these are spending on consumption these are spending on investment this is spending on government expenditure these are spending on exports okay to net exports so this is when we add the expenditures of each sector we get expenditure method let's again give it a read so to calculate expenditure of a society, it includes personal consumption expenditure, net domestic investment, common expenditure on consumption as well as capital goods. So government expenditure here includes government expenditure on consumption goods plus government expenditure on capital goods. Okay. Then net exports. So symbolically, it is C plus I plus G plus X minus M, as you can see. Then what are the precautions as we read in every method? So secondhand goods, again, secondhand goods ka value should not be included because it has already been included in uh, previous year's production. The value of output, it has already been included and nothing has been reproduced. It has just been resold. Okay, so the value should not be included. Then purchase of shares and bond expenditure on purchase of old shares and bonds in the secondary market should not be included. Transfer payment should not be included. Expenditure on intermediate goods, you know, like expenditure on seeds, fertilizers by farmers, cotton and yarn by textile industry should not be included to avoid double counting because it has already. So example, like if you have included the expenditure on T-shirt of 500 rupees, then already the value of cotton, yarn and everything is being included in that 500 rupees. So you should not separately include it, the value of intermediate good just to avoid double counting otherwise it would be a double counting leading to overestimation of your national income it should not happen okay so that's it for today's video and i really hope you found it helpful uh do share your feedback like share and subscribe to the channel hardly would take 10 seconds of yours to subscribe it means the world to me and if you've already subscribed do leave a heart emoji so that i know you watch this video till the end and you're already subscribed to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow with another one till then take care keep smiling stay happy stay healthy and keep practicing i'll see you tomorrow bye bye